In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a reversal design graph that, that looks just like this. Notice it has uh, section lines that are dividing all the uh, baseline sections and treatment sections. And uh, it has labels on both sizes and it also have these markers. Okay, And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, I already have data right here. And before I start doing the graph, I want to just highlight the treatments or the baseline sections and so that uh, they look different uh, it will be easy for me to, to tell which ones are uh, treatments which one uh, are the, uh, the baseline uh, the sessions and so in this case I already know 5 to 8 are the treatment sessions and also uh, 13 session 13 to 16 are treatment sessions and so I'm going to highlight those and now I'm going to create a graph and I'll highlight uh, just the data that I need and then in uh, Excel I'll click on the charts uh, tab right here and, and I'll create a line graph and so I'll click on line uh, now you notice that uh, Excel already have a graph that will create uh, the, the markers uh, for you, you know, along the lines. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to just choose the regular line one so that I can show you how to uh, create the, the markers later uh, in case if you have forgotten. Okay, so here is my graph. Okay, and um, now since there's only one line, there's no reason why we want to put a legend here. So I'm going to delete this legend. Just click on it and then press delete. And for this graph right now, it does not have any labels. So I'm going to yeah, insert some labels in there too. So to do that, what I want to do is to click on this chart layout tab and then click on chart title right here. And then I can uh, insert the title uh, above. And uh, I think I've called it uh, like John's um, handwriting performance. Okay, this is what it is about. And uh, of course, you can change the fonts and text uh, uh, color and all that. You just need to highlight it, and then go back to the regular formatting uh, tab, and it will be you, you'll be able to to make those changes. And at times. Um, uh, there are also uh, some graphs uh, that they actually require you to put the person's name, the subject's name or the title at the bottom. So for example, somebody's uh, name you know, at, at the bottom and make it small and, and you can easily just drag this uh, title bar uh, to that and so you can surely ch uh, do that. And I also want to have an X exit and, uh, and a Y exit uh, the title and so um, I, I will just click on this access title and choose horizontal access title and click right here and uh, this one I will just call it uh, sections sessions okay and you can also make it bigger too or oh, just highlight it and click on formats or oh, home sorry okay I'll click on home and make the font a little bit bigger okay and I'll go back to chart layout and now select the axis uh, again and select vertical and I'll select the, the rotated title the rotated side title will look uh, like this okay it's rotated if sorry uh, let's just click right here and then delete that And this one I will call it a score. Okay, uh, let's say you know there's a handwriting score, and I'll also make it bigger. I double click it to highlight it. Click on the home tab, and make it uh, font twelve. Okay, now for this line right now it does not have marker yet. To create the marker, all I have to do is to right click on this line, or uh, right click on a PC, or Control click on a Mac. And then you can select a uh, format data series and uh, here it gives you the line okay uh, but we're not trying to change the line yet okay I just want to click on the marker style right now there's no marker okay let me track a little closer uh, so you want to select a marker and uh, the marker we want to use in this case is the square and it looks a little bit small, so I'm going to make the square a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, 8 is about right. 
So now, if you look at the graph again, uh, let me click somewhere else just, uh, so it is not highlighted. You can see that uh, the line has marker for each one of the points. And um, so uh, uh, for this uh, reversal uh, uh, design graph, I want to uh, uh, like the not link uh, the base, uh, baseline data as well as the treatment data and uh, the baseline data or the treatment data. And so I want this line to disappear. What I have to do is to click on this uh, points right here, okay? Because this points is number five, session number five, and according to my graph, I know that session number five is uh, the time that uh, I, I have the treatment. And so what I need to do is to control click on a Mac or right click on this uh, data point, or I can just double click on it, okay? And then, uh, Right now, it still have the market style highlighted, but I will go back to line, okay, select line, and uh, the color now is automatic. I'll click on it and choose no line, okay, and then click OK. Notice in the graph, the line is missing. So in other words, the line is actually still there, but it is missing, and, and so it serves our purpose. Um, it, it is not showing up anymore, okay? So I will also select this line right here. You notice the first time when I click it, the whole all the data points are selected. But when I click it again one more time, uh, then only this data point is selected. And then I can double click on it, and it will bring up the line uh, function again in the uh, format the thing uh, window. And I'll click on no line. I'll do that again for this next line uh, because I know that's the time when the treatment is changed. Okay, so now uh, I have this, uh, you know, dot, uh, the, this four different lines. Okay, what I want to do is to create some dotted lines in between each one of these segments and so that uh, they can be seen, you know, easily seen as uh, divider sections. And um, what I need to do is to go up to the menu here and click on insert. But you notice that, uh, well, actually, I can do that. Okay, I just click on insert and go to picture and then select shape. Okay, and, and then I'll have this window here. Okay, uh, this window allows me, to, allows me to choose the different shapes that I want. And I just want to have a simple line. Okay, so I just click on line. And now I can come back here and start drawing the line that I want. I will uh, draw like this, but you notice that sometimes when you are sometimes when you are drawing a line, it may be you know slanted uh, at an angle. If you want it to be like a complete straight line and no accidentally you know drawing a, a slanted line like this, what you need to do is to press the shift button while you are still drawing the line. It will make sure that you are making a, a completely vertical line. So I'm going to just let go right, right there. Okay, I have a perfect line. But you notice that it is not exactly in the position that is between these two markers uh, or, or data points. So to move this line, all I have to do is to just click on it and then click and drag it to about right here. That looks good. Okay, now, but I don't want this to be a solid line. I want it to be a dotted line. So all I have to do is to just double click on it and the menu bar on top here it changes and it gives me this formatting uh, uh, toolbar and i can click on line right here and choose uh, dashed and i think this one looks good so i'm going to choose this one and i can change the color too if i'm going to uh, print this in a, a regular black and white printer i may just change it uh, to choose a black in, instead of uh, the, the color so that you can print better okay so now that i have one line i want I want to uh, uh, either just repeat that process and create two additional lines, or I can just copy this one. And on the Mac, to copy is just Command C and Command V to paste. Okay, so here's the line, and um, I'm going to just drag it a little higher so that it looks just like this, the one, uh, the, the same um, horizontal position as the other one. And now I can drag it across. And if you want to maintain the same position as um, where you started, you can press Shift, so it will make sure you are moving it to the same location. Now let me just show you. If I I am just you know dragging like this, sometimes I may be moving it up and down you know uh, by accident. But if I press Shift, 
immediately Excel will put it uh, back to the same horizontal position and so uh, or the vertical position in this case and so I'll, I'll just be uh, moving it to a different horizontal position okay and I'll press paste again and I have another line I'll also move it up to uh, about you know the same place where I want okay about like like this is good okay now I'm going to press shift and also move it to right here between these two areas okay so I have all the lines the last thing I want is to have the labels for each one of the sections okay um, and so to do that uh, usually you should be able to just go to insert and then select insert a text box but you notice those options are not here uh, when I have the graph uh, selected because uh, it only gives me the elements that relates to the graph and so what I need to do is to actually click outside of the graph so I just click on any any cell okay and then um, uh, with the, the, uh, the graph not selected I can go to insert and select text box okay and once you have selected text box now you notice that your your mouse pointer can you see that it becomes an a sign like this okay and with the a sign i can click where i want it so i'll click right here and call this baseline okay i may want it to want the text to be bold and so i click bold and then i'm going to just move this uh, uh, text box a little higher and instead of dragging it higher I'm going to just use the arrow keys and click I have to click on the border of this text box first and then use the arrow key to move it a little higher and uh, put it right here you know that looks good and now I'm going to create another text box and in, instead of going to insert and insert text box again I'm going to just copy this text box by selecting uh, clicking on the border of this text box and pressing command C to copy or control C on a PC and uh, command V on a Mac to paste and uh, or, or com uh, control V to paste on a PC and after I've pasted uh, the, the new text box I'm going to also move it up and, and let it overlap with what I had before and, and so that I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it is in the same location, uh, same vertical position. Then I'll move it horizontally using the arrow keys. Okay, I'll put it like right around here. And this one, of course, is no longer the, uh, the, the, the baseline. This is the treatment. But instead of writing the treatment name, I'm also actually going to give, uh, uh, write down a more descriptive uh, name that relates to my treatment. So let's say my treatment is uh, discourage. Uh, I mean encouragement, and um, I I can just type it in. That would be a lot easier for uh, the, the reader to to remember. You know what your treatment is, and uh, now I'm going to do paste one more time. And once it is paste. Um, I want to make sure it is the same location as in the previous one and so I'm going to just let it overlap with the other text box and this time I'm I'm going to drag okay and I will just press shift and click on the border of the text box and just slide over okay all right so let me paste one more time that one looks good uh, okay and I'm going to let it overlap with this one first. Okay, so now I know it is in the right location. And then I can just uh, drag it over to the next area and change the text to encouragement. Okay, so now move it, press the shift, uh, move it horizontally. A little bit okay that looks good um, and that's how you create a reversal design uh, graph uh, using Excel